Welcome back. Nice to see you and it is my pleasure to have you here. Today's recipe is to boil dried squid lotus root peanut soup recipe. Hope you like it. This soup doesn't need meat and its taste is just as rich, fresh and delicious. It's really delicious. Ingredients Lotus root Corn Dried scallop Dried squid Carrot Red dates Peanuts Wash and soak dried squid and dried scallop with warm water. Wash and sliced red dates. Wash and soak peanut then set aside. Water from the dried scallop set aside to use for cooking soup. After the dried squid is soaked and softened, remove the transparent cartilage in the middle and cut it into small pieces for later use. and diced carrot. Remove outer layer and cut into sections. Peel lotus root and cut into thick slices. Add water and all ingredients into soup pot. Select soup button and cook with instant pot for 30 minutes. Soup is cooked. Add salt to taste. Let's eat. This soup is easy and delicious. Give it a try too. After shelling the peanuts, soak them in cold salt water for about 2 hours to allow the peanuts to fully absorb water. If you use peanut kernels, follow the same steps. Peanuts contain a lot of oil, and salt can destroy the interface between oil and water, making it easier for the peanuts to absorb water and cook until soft. When buying dried squid, many people see white frost on the surface and think it is moldy. In fact, it is not the case. The presence of white frost is a normal phenomenon and there is no need to worry. Dried squid is made by cutting open the abdomen of the squid, removing the internal organs, washing it in fresh water, rinsing it with clean water, and then drying it in the sun.
Squid is rich in calcium, phosphorus and iron, which is beneficial to bone development and hematopoiesis, and can effectively treat anemia. In addition to being rich in protein and amino acids required by the human body, squid also contains a large amount of taurine, which can inhibit the cholesterol content in the blood, relieve fatigue, restore vision, and improve liver function. The peptides and selenium it contains have antiviral and anti-radiation effects. Patients with spleen and stomach deficiency, high blood lipids, high cholesterol, arteriosclerosis and other cardiovascular and liver diseases, eczema, urticaria and other diseases should not eat dried squid. Lotus root contains mucus protein and dietary fiber, which can combine with bile salts in the human body, cholesterol and triglycerides in food, and excrete them from the feces, thereby reducing the absorption of lipids. Who is lotus root suitable for? Suitable for people with iron deficiency anemia, fatigue, thinness, dry cough and thirst. What are the taboos about eating lotus root? Lotus root is cool in nature, so it is not suitable for pregnant women to eat it too early. It is usually eaten 1 minus 2 weeks after delivery. Avoid using iron utensils when cooking lotus roots. The tannins in them will react chemically with the metal, causing the food to turn black. After lotus roots are cut, they can be soaked in clean water or light salt water to prevent them from turning black. People with spleen deficiency and cold stomach and those prone to diarrhea should not eat raw lotus root to avoid causing gastrointestinal discomfort. Friends who like cooking may consider following my YouTube channel for more delicious recipes. There are three thousands of delicious recipes on my YouTube, check it out for more delicious recipes ya! Yeah. Save this recipe now so you may refer back anytime in the future. I like easy recipe because I believe that delicious food must be simple and quick to prepare. After all, there are so many things going on every day, right? By the way, if you are looking for soup recipes, welcome to check out my soup series where there are 257 soup recipes. I share delicious recipes every day so don't miss it. Thanks for watching. See you in next video ya. Yeah.